Certainly the claim that uh, science has made God irrelevant or science has somehow disproved God is, is one that's very common uh, in our culture. So some of the leading new atheists writing and publishing today, men like Richard Dawkins in his book The God Delusion, would say that you know, the God hypothesis can be tested scientifically and proven false. Or as uh, one uh, Christian student once said to me, she said, every night I go to bed worried that when I wake up in the morning I will open the newspaper and discover that some scientist somewhere has disproven Christianity. And so I think many Christians live with this kind of anxiety that science is an enemy of, uh, of religious faith. But the issue is that's simply not the case. Firstly, the Christian faith has always been based on evidence. It's not the case that science is evidence-based and what we believe is purely faith based. Christians have always been able to give reasons for what we believe. The first Christians appealed to public evidence for why they believe what they believe. That was the resurrection of Jesus Christ. That's a public fact, a fact that took place in the full light of history. Secondly, it's interesting that when you look at the history of science, science is not antithetical to Christian faith. The Christian faith actually gave birth to science. If you look back at the history of science, why did the first scientists in the medieval age, for example, why did they begin doing their science? They began doing their science very often because they were men, largely men then, who believed in God. They believed that God had made a world, a universe that was rational, and therefore they wanted to understand how God had done it. Science set out to answer the question of how the universe worked and the people who were doing science were theists, were Christians who believed there was a God behind all of it. It's very interesting if you look at the history of science that science as, an, as a sustained uh, enterprise didn't begin in some of the other great civilizations of the world where it could have done. It didn't begin uh, in Islam despite the fact that Islamic civilization uh, was so powerful and so advanced. It didn't begin in China. It didn't begin in pagan Europe. Cr science began in Christendom, in Christian Europe. That is not accidental. The Christian faith gave birth to science and has never been antithetical to science. But a third point I think we need to make here when we engage with our friends who sometimes say that science has disproven God is to go, look, there are science is a wonderful tool for answering a whole range of questions about the way the universe works, but there are also many questions science can't answer, not because scientists don't have the knowledge, but because it's the wrong tool. If I want to paint a portrait of my wife, I need to use paint brushes and oils. That would be, they would be wonderful tools. If I tried to paint a portrait using a hammer and chisel, uh, it probably wouldn't work because they would be the wrong tools. Science can answer questions about how the world works. It cannot answer those big why questions. Science will not tell you what the purpose of life is. Science will not tell you where, whether there's life after death, whether there's a heaven. Science can't answer whether there is a God, and science can't get us to right and wrong. Big human questions. We can conduct a scientific experiment to tell us what will happen if you give your friend arsenic. Science will not tell you whether you should do that. Science is the wrong tool. So science and faith, science and Christianity are not antithetical. They go together very well, evidenced by the fact that many of the leading scientists in the world today are people who profess a faith in Christ.